In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change your App Store region without cancelling your subscriptions. Now this is a bit of a workaround since Apple typically requires you to cancel any active subscriptions before making such a change. However, we have a creative solution that can help you manoeuvre through this process without having to disrupt your ongoing services. Let's dive in. To get started, grab your iPhone and head over to the Settings app. Once you're there, look for the option with your name at the top. That's your Apple ID settings. Tap it to open up a list of options. From here, you'll want to navigate to the Media and Purchases section. This is where you'll find everything related to your App Store and iTunes account. Next, select View Account. As you scroll down, you'll see an option labelled Country, Region. This is the section we'll be working with today. Tap on it to proceed. Once you're in the Country, Region settings, go ahead and tap on Change Country or Region. This is where the real setup begins. Here you will be prompted to select a new country. A list will appear representing all the regions available to you. It's important to keep in mind that choosing your new region carefully is crucial, especially in regard to payment and available apps. After selecting your desired country, a prompt will appear with the terms and conditions for that region. Make sure to review them carefully and then tap Agree to proceed. Now since each region has its own requirements, you'll need to add a valid payment method that's specific to the country you've selected. Having a local payment method is essential because without it you won't be able to make any purchases or download even free apps. This could mean using a different credit card or possibly setting up a payment option through a service like PayPal if your card doesn't support transactions in that area. Here's an important point to consider. Even though Apple's official process demands that you cancel your subscriptions before making any region changes, which is something we want to avoid, there's a clever workaround. If the region change is absolutely necessary, but the native payment method is giving you trouble, consider creating a new Apple ID specifically for the new country or region. This way you can enjoy localized content and apps without losing access to your current subscriptions on your main account. Essentially, you'll have a separate account for each region. To wrap up, changing your App Store region without cancelling existing subscriptions requires a bit of strategy and juggling around with different accounts. Though not officially supported by Apple for active subscriptions, creating a new Apple ID for your desired region can help you achieve this smoothly. I hope this guide has been helpful and you can now access the apps and content you need worldwide. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.